Hey folks, it's Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your weekly horoscopes for all zodiac signs, sun, moon, and rising. I am a Taino Arawak, a psychic, a medium, and I use the planetary movements to help guide me in whatever information your particular zodiac sign needs to know about so that you can maximize your prosperity. Enjoy. Cancers, my fellow Cancers, what is going on with you this week? On Monday the 16th and Tuesday the 17th, we have mutual theme on both of these days having to do with maternal and angelic ancestors, living people guiding you through a process where I feel healing is needed, but I also feel that universal intervention is required and so if you've been feeling like you're stuck in a situation you're stuck in the mud your hands are tied anything like that we do see them stepping in to work things in your favor but it does break down a little deeper than that there is also talk on both of these days of you needing while that happens to keep collecting your resources and to continue to do your hard work Bring your A-game, nose to the grind, stay focused and positive because you are being appreciated. And that can range from being appreciated by the universe, so blessings and karma will be on its way. It can also be about people seeing you and offering you promotion for what you do. So be mindful, all eyes are on you. Now this breaks down a little bit further. Monday the 16th, there's talk of it's time to pray, it's time to manifest, it's time to use law of attraction. So whether you're tapping in with the ancestors, the saints, Um, you're praying to God, you are asking for whatever it is that you want and need. And I also feel later on Monday the 16th, there's talk of a closed door that is trying to reopen itself. This to me feels a little bit like it's mental and emotional for some of you. This could be involving childhood or some kind of past trauma in any way, shape or form. But for many of you, sun, moon or rising cancers, it can also be about your heart. Uh, an old love partner or any relationship that has been really significant in your life in some way, we want to make sure that we keep that door shut. So don't let it trip you up. Now, Tuesday the 17th and Wednesday the 18th, there's talk of over the hump. And this could be over the hump in many different areas, sun, moon, arising, depending. But for some of you, it is going to be in love. So we're looking at uh, a relationship that's really important in your life or an actual love partnership that is either leveling up or is coming in as brand new soulmate connection, something significant here. There's also talk of... Um, an affair and there's talk of home life getting up over the hump in those particular areas as well for those of you who are dealing with some type of an affair um, we do want to be mindful that we are watching our karma at this time don't forget all eyes are on you Wednesday the 18th Thursday the 19th there's a mutual theme on both of these days having to do with you seeing the truth and using it in your favor wisely for your own advancement. Thursday the 19th, later into the afternoon or evening hours, we do have a rainbow. That's pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, rainbow after the storm, hopes and dreams coming true. It's also the highest prosperity symbol you can get in my readings. It doesn't feel to me that all of you are receiving it officially on that day. It feels that some of you are just realizing that it's on the horizon or something is being worked out in your favor behind the scenes. So it could play out differently for everybody. Friday the 20th, there is talk of um, someone who's a Tigger type. So if we look at Winnie the Pooh and we think of Tigger, if you're not familiar, Google him. Um, He's kind of hyper. He's pretty obnoxious. He's very interruptive. He's an extrovert. And while he comes with a sort of loving gesture and nature about him, he'll also trample you and definitely steal your peace um, as he does for anyone who's introverted or anyone who's looking for more stability. And then you've got this Tigger type that you're stuck working with. So this person or situation is supposed to be full of hot air, Spirit says. You are to tune out distractions and know that your answers and your peace lie in introspection that day. Saturday the 21st, Sunday the 22nd, Monday the 23rd, we have mutual theme on all three of these days having to do with steady focus, you reading between the lines, using good communication, and being sure to check in with anyone else involved in your situation 
as we look for a leveling up, as we look for a resolution, as we try to get to another level, making sure that they are pulling their own weight, whether it be unreturned phone calls, missing emails, people slacking. You may have to push and throw your weight around a bit to get them to do their part. Sunday the 22nd into Monday the 23rd, there's also a mutual theme on both of these days having to do with strong leadership. I feel that you are a strong leader, but I also feel you're being surrounded by strong leaders and you are invited to the table. Cancers, have a beautiful week.